So as you remember from the finally fast video, IRQL not less than equal is either a driver or a hardware problem. IRQ stands for interrupt request. There you go, you heard it here. In the Mighty Mighty Boss Tone song, the impression that I get, the lyric is, I've never had to, comma, knock on wood, not, I've never had to knock on wood. This has been a public service announcement. I just wanted to show I just built this weird ass breakout cable. It goes from a Cat5 to 3. They should be RJ11s, but they're really Cat5s. So by my front door, I have this digital North Star phone and this analog cordless phone, which I'm gonna grab. I'll go up into the attic here. This is where my stepdaughter's play area is. So I put in this, obviously, this digital North Star phone here, as you can imagine. But while I was up here, I noticed that she had this old school analog rotary phone. So I, uh, since I ran Cat5 up here, I have four pairs. So. I gave her two extensions here. I'm gonna test them out here real quick. Do uh, three, two, two. <laughs> See, so I have I have them. They're separate. They're separate um, extensions, but they they ring at the same time. So I could go over here and dial three, two, two, and it'll ring that. And likewise, let me show you this. I think this is the coolest part. Never dialed a. North Star extension with rotary before, so I thought that was kind of cool. So you can do everything from the rotary phone that you can do from, you know, an analog phone. Uh, there's no display, but like if I want a page, the only caveat is there's no star key. So the way that it works is right now I'm on a dial tone. You probably can't hear that. I just flash. It goes doot, and it's expecting me to dial star, but instead I'm going to dial one, and that's the same as features. Now I'm going to do six, three, O. Oh. Test, test, test. Awesome. Now this was a pretty big pain to connect. You think being in the attic, you could just kind of drill a hole down into wherever, but the rest of the house is pretty finished. And I don't want to go through the ceiling, so what I've done is I've run the Cat Five up here, comes down here, and I was gonna have it go through that hole, but that didn't work out, so it goes down there. So it actually comes out here, and I was going to have it run down into that hole, and then I was going to pass it through to the other room and take advantage of the phone run that, that went in there, but that didn't work out. I'll show you why in a second. So instead it goes up, over, down, under the trimming, up, over, down, and then there's this mess of Cat5 patches back here, so. Down here in the Telco room, this is the wire that comes from the living room panel. And the pink and purple here carry um, her analog phone, and the yellow and white carry her digital phone. And then from here they go into this Cat5, which comes out over here. It's this one here. And the orange and white, which is the digital phone, goes right in here into the 66 block into the phone system. And the green and white, which is the analog phone, comes over here and takes a pit stop in the analog terminal adapter, and then the digital side goes back into the phone system here. Gotta clean this up a little bit. I know this is not the tidiest, but again, this is my house. This is not a professional installation. I do not do this for a living. I think this is actually pretty well. This is the nicest I've ever had this installation. Usually it's just laying on a shelf in my bedroom or some shit. So I'm actually very happy with this. Instead of running into the living room, I was originally going to run it through that hole in the wall into the bedroom and use the yellow and black pair of the original phone cabling that went to the bedroom. The only problem is that there is no black wire. This weird-ass phone wire only has red, green, and yellow. Imagine that. 
I can't find it, but here's a picture from my Twitter when I did find it and pulled it out of the wall. These days you have red, green, yellow, black, red and green are tip and ring for line one, yellow and black are tip and ring for line two. So I thought I was gonna hook this up to yellow and black, uh, but there was only red, green, and yellow, which would be for tip, ring, and sleeve. Right now we have 16 digital connections, which are 14 digital phones, and then the cordless phone and the rotary phone. I'm sorry, the rotary phone and the cordless phone. Over here is the, uh, where the two analog lines come in. This is Cat5, this is networking in and out. Uh, the middle one is not Ethernet, the middle one is just the extension panel uplink. The green one here is going to my LAN. The one with the orange LED is actually going up here and feeding the network connection on the terminal adapter. I've yet to hook up my page and ringer contacts. That is the next project. I need paging and music on hold throughout this house. 100%. So real quick, this is my gigabit cable connection. It's fiber to the curb. It comes in as coax and it goes right down into the uh, modem. Uh, the wire is so short I can't even get it to the wall to make it nice. I want to not have a really long extension on that. The ethernet cable coming out of the cable modem actually comes across here and through a hole in the wall and comes up here to which machine? Neither of these. So it comes up here and then this box is running ESXi and it has several virtual machines on it. One of them is a virtual router appliance, which is my router. And then the other side of the router, the internal side, is here. And this is connecting into this uh, gigabit ethernet switch. And then from here, all of my local servers, so I have this ESX box, which is running virtual machines, this is my file server. Um, that's all here. Also, Wi-Fi comes up here. These two connections power my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi with the plant on it and the 5.4 gigahertz mesh network. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, like the like button. Oh my god, the white balance. Fuck. I know this was a pretty short video, but if you like my content, please subscribe, tell your friends, do whatever. The blue on this is fucking breaking and the green is almost completely dead. Worse, I, I fucking, oh god. I paid like 45 bucks for this thing, and I was really happy because it looked really fucking sturdy. It came on a plexiglass backer board, it was wall mountable, and now the fucking green is almost completely fucking. Are you do you see this shit? Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, click the like button. If the subscribe button is still red, that means you haven't clicked it. Go ahead and click it. And if you haven't left a comment, you should leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite part was. Tell me why you watch this shit. Please, I need to know. Until next time, see ya.